Hello, soldiers, and welcome to the end of the carrot. This is the final part of Rock Rabbit Counters playthrough of Call of Duty World War II, and now we are going from Magic Bullet Time to Magic AA Time, taking out airplanes out of the sky. Left. My gyroscopic indicator. I right, so we probably need to get two more planes down. I may have had to reset a checkpoint here. No, I don't think I, re I reset any checkpoints. The AA section, at, at least the AA section, respects that you've minimized the difficulty. Because the only thing that can happen here is you get shot. But your damage per hit is a lot lower than if you're playing this on veteran. I already described how much of a pain in the ass this particular mission all the way through would be on veteran. It would take me many hours of retries in order to do it. It's not that I couldn't do it. It's that at what cost? Do we have to take down uh, uh, both aerial squadrons? Oh, uh, we just just keep. Well, of course, because your all-knowing spotter is going to tell you exactly how many more people you need to kill. All right, I guess we're done here. Fork. Ah, oh, so many good boinks. Damn it! That was not a good bunk. You missed. Almost it. had a full house. And uh, he's not. No, you right. You can't get away from me, damn it! It was not a lethal hit. And seriously, we're at mid we're at medium range again, uh, Cloud. Put away the magic rifle. Take a deep breath. Damn it! <laughs> I get it, the magic rifle is really fun to play with, but it's not efficient right now. Well, thank goodness that the game is letting me at least take my time figuring out exactly how to proceed. That's why they let me kill my teammates as many times as I need to. I just have to restart the checkpoint. Um, that's armor. We cannot deal with the armor with our magic rifle. No, we cannot. Alright, you guys ready for the big finish? Dun 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 Oh, I shot him right into the head and... Mm. Go freaking your father. Oh yes, and somehow I just jumped right in front of the gate over here. <laughs> Back up, back up, back up. Switch weapons. Oh, it's over. It's over. The war is over. The war is over, Mr. Gerda. They're giving up. When the game says it's over, it's over. You can put down that controller now. Mm -mm. And then we get our secret Block Ops 2 ending, right? Alright. <laughs> Bridge is ours. Hey, Howard. Thank you, Howard. I'll leave I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. How about a Coke? Uh, how about a beer? <laughs> Just made history. All right, come on out with your hands above your heads, you sorry sons of freaking. <laughs> there are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Yep. Mm. Uh, oh, we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna go break in. Bridge head on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as won. Not to me. But that's that not where our story goes. We're not going to Berlin in order to finish the job. In the epilogue chapter, about one month after the events after of the, the uh, bridge at Ramagen, we stroll into a genuine Nazi POW camp where they've been torturing both prisoners of war and Jews alike. Saul stay with me forever. Survivor said that 
the other POWs. You know, technically, uh, the Jew, the Jewish population in those camps are prisoners of war. Well, pri well, prisoner of war suggests that they were trying to kill the Germans, you know, in a kind of, you know, state versus yeah, they're state an enemy, basis. Yeah, they are an enemy combatant that got captured. Right, which that is, is what it suggests, but, you know, ter uh, English terminology is very flexible. And in order to make a more authentic epilogue chapter, this was probably taken from photographs of this particular camp. Especially because we have a character with us who is holding a camera. Call of Duty is not afraid of recreating environments. They did this concentration slash prisoner of war camp in World War II. They did Chernobyl and Modern Warfare. They even might have recreated some actual uh, sites and vistas from the Middle East. Sadness. So, the, all the documentation here is this actual? Um, in, is this individual records? Is this is this transference records? What is it? Oh, well, what like the like the pri like the primary sources for for Call of Duty making this or what we're here to get? No, 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 no. The documentation that they threw into the fire before we got here. Probably, pro I mean, anything that could implicate the people who are who are you know overseeing the camp, like uh, like rosters. Or schedules or payroll. They wanted to make sure that nobody knew what these men did here. They had them living worse than animals. From the looks of it, they were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. Really wish you had had a closed captioning on, Mr. Cloud. Sorry. He's, he's describing. Well, what's going through Daniel's mind as he goes through these cots that are full of corpses of people who starved to death because they were being deprived by the Germans who were overseeing them. Daniel's just starting to get worried about Zussman. Because it's been four months since he's seen Zussman, since he got captured on December 27th. And now on April, on April 4th, well, we haven't found many assuring sights. And the gallows. Condemned to the gallows. Daniels, we gotta see this. The tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched them. And that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Sussman. Find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. And into the next checkpoint we go. For one last stroll through the woods. <laughs> There's a puppet dog. Everything's coming full circle. All I've done. All I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Ball! And so the truth finally comes out that although Paul has been our guide, our source of friendship and comfort through these dark times of war, Dramatically did not actually survive that encounter with the wolf possibly because Daniels did not act soon enough in order to Destroy the attacker before it killed his brother We um, but he didn't die from the uh, from the uh, uh, from the initial attack It looks like he may have uh, uh, died from blood loss and lack of uh, and lack of treatment He probably collapsed because his blood pressure dropped. Yes and because he did not recover and because he did not stay conscious, he probably bled out. Checkpoint. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. 
I will find so we're we gonna have to headshot a wolf in order to save Zussman. Oh, he's a wolf, all right. He's got teeth. Fuck you, handsome man who I recognize from cutscene. Yeah, he lost a little weight. Well, yeah, it's been four months in a, in a concentration camp. The fact that he survived it all is uh, quite remarkable. Well, because even they understood that if they wanted the workers to work, they had to, you know, feed them at some point to turn those calories into labor. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march, and that's having your brothers beside you. That's right, the brothers, Mr. Gerdat, the brothers. When history calls. You From all walks of life, a whole leaf of units. And freedom, I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst the brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Well, congratulations, gamer. You have achieved the one and only ending you can get in Call of Duty World War II. The good ending. The ending where Daniels makes peace with his goddamn cowardice through childhood and has actually come through at the moment of truth. <laughs> so does Styles have an arc? Styles is just there. He is man with glasses. We will see you in our next playthrough, Styles. Except I probably will not be returning to this game. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of him, boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. I'm not crazy, bastard, Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't that. <laughs> Drunk too. Yes. So, are we taking the aircraft carrier home, or? Uh... Well, we're in France. What they're going to do because of airport systems in the 1940s is they're going to ship us by sh by sea back to England, and then they're going to fly us over the Atlantic direct route from England. All right. We were alone, looking for any way to survive. You could have gone home to your home. Yeah, I could have put this game down. I could have said, fuck it, this game is too stupid and the checkpoints are too esoteric, but 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 I persevered. And you know what? I'm glad I saved Zussman. To the end. To the end. Mm. Can you guys have your brotherly moment elsewhere? I'm trying to nap. <laughs> I know, right? The guy on the the guy on the left is trying to sleep. No, let us have our moment, God damn it. The brothers, man, the brothers. Mm. Oh, it only took us two weeks to fly back home. Alright. This time we made it home. Together. I could still hear the wolves paw. Sometimes Trains, planes, automobiles. Me how to fight them. That is so a comedy that I have also not seen. Alright, you want to take a shot at me? Go ahead, I'm an easy target. But you know what? My friends like me. My wife likes me. I like me. You know what? Oof, only 27. It's alright. Hug. Mr. Plot Device is having a great afterlife in heaven, and meanwhile, we finally got our babe. The end. Mm. So... From what I've seen, it honestly looks and feels a lot like a standard Call of Duty uh, World, War, uh, World War II campaign. <laughs> like they haven't done it enough I times. Do like, uh, I do like the uh, the Magic Sniper Rifle. I do <laughs> most certainly enjoy that. But none of the other uh, weapons are honestly all that interesting to me. I mean, the BAR is cool, but mostly because of its uh, ridiculously high maximum ammo. Yeah, and then the seldom-seen weapons, like the ones the Germans are using... 
I guess because of the ammo crate system, eventually you can just use any weapon you want because all you have to do is just go up to a magic fill ammo crate and you have full ammo for any gun you want. I think the MP40 is the best, honestly. Mm. From what I actually got of the story, it's okay. I mean, we're aping uh, a bunch of uh, popular World War II dramas. That's <clears throat> that's pretty much what the, what our story is. Saving Private Ryan. Um, uh, Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers, yep. Um, both directed, both produced maybe by Iron Tom Iron Eagle. Iron Eagle. The Great Escape. <laughs> is Great Escape a World War II drama? I th think it is. I think that's, I think that's based on a, it, it, you know what, it is, it is based on a German POW camp where they actually, where the Americans actually made their escape. Or is it the English? I th it might have actually even been the English. Hmm. All right then. That they that Call of Duty did, um, Call of Duty Two was World War Two. Call of Duty Three was World War Two. They might even they might have even done another one, but this one is their penultimate. This one is their ultimate World War Two tribute slash achievement because of the production value, the narrative storytelling. Hey, Toys for Bob is here. Ha ha. Ha ha. Bob, welcome. Nazi zombies cast. Ving Rhames, yes. Ah. Uh, lest we forget that all you gotta do is just hop over to another game mode. And you can play different story, different universe, different characters. But all first person shooter action. That is if you like playing with the AI. Honestly, the, the enemy AI in, even on recruit, recruit difficulty was not quite as annoying as I thought it was going to be. Um, what killed me a lot of times was the goddamn explosive users who I couldn't see. Yeah, they got annoying. Snipers, uh, may, if only for like one or two moments, yeah, they also got a bit annoying. But um, I do think that the enemy AI was well balanced. They definitely taught me, you know, don't run up to your opponent. Don't do the things that will get you killed, like get you fucking bopped in the face with the butt of a rifle. You definitely don't want that to have happen. Um, that the pacing is all right. If you don't mind learning a little bit first, because I did notice that some really important, you know, break your cherry lessons on some of these missions will actually make them significantly easier on subsequent playthroughs. If you really want to get the achievement for getting veteran or, or difficulty max out in the entire campaign run, definitely doable. I don't know how fun it is, but just getting from checkpoint to checkpoint. Yeah, I've been there. I've done that. And I've lost enough hair on my head trying to do something like that by ripping it out over frustrating retries. Um, I am happy to have completed this game. This is a game. fucking lot of names. Oh my god, there's gotta be at least eight mics on that list. And these are the people who we have to thank for what is, you know, again, a great looking game. A great looking game. If you <laughs> like game feel, we got you. Cloud's name is technically in there somewhere. Oh yeah. My name is almost in there. Yeah, almost. Almost. David. Heh. So, Mr. Reddy, would you recommend this game um, to so folks who like... So, would you recommend this game to, uh, to a newbie uh, of the COD franchise? Uh, to a newbie? Honestly, I think World War II or Modern Warfare gives a better tutorial for newbies. Um... That they actually have a, you know, a kind of training mission instead of just putting you on the beach of Normandy and letting you get killed on your very first playthrough. That can, but, see, that's the difference between a game, setting you up for a game experience and setting you up for, like, a game slash cinematic experience. This game makes it very clear that you have to, ex you have to appreciate the cinematic value. That's why, in order to create a more realistic simulation of World War II, the first, the very first thing that you do is go on the beach. Because that, because that is, that was real. Those guys were, some of them as young as 16 years old, some, most not even older than 22. And many of them didn't even leave the beach that day. That was the reality of it. And on the subject of game feel, yeah, thumbs up. Really good simulation. Not exactly a pre not exactly a new player friendly choice though. That's my one concession with that. Is new players may actually end up hating the opening beach segment because of how often they get hurt slash killed on the way in. But then what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Uh, personally, uh, I would have uh, I would have had us spend a little bit more time in uh, in training drills before uh, throwing us onto Normandy. Uh, but yeah, cin the cinema uh, the cinematography of the campaign honestly is pr is really high up there. I'm not entirely sure if I enjoy it though because well the way that we're uh, viewing this is uh, subpar. You really should have had the, the subtitles on cloud. I know, I know. I'm sorry, and we talked over a lot of the dialogue. I mean, if if you've watched a World War II dramatic production that was produced either by Steven Spielberg or actor slash producer Tom Hanks, you may be familiar with the narrative style that these characters use. <laughs> What may not be as familiar, also, is that they included German German voice actors as well, and that they had things to say other than "Granata" or "Panzerfaust" or "Americanos." <laughs> Honestly, I think my favorite segments of the campaign that we that uh, we witnessed were the times where it decided to not be a Call of Duty game, where it decided <laughs> to be, you know, a uh, a, a stealth intelligence mission. Uh, or, or even the rather annoying part where we're escort, where we're escorting the uh, small child um, out, uh, out to her, out to her uh, uh, grieving mom. I honestly think that that's a really cool segment. It's just that it has it has mechanical issues <laughs> uh, being stapled into a COD game. That it is a great change of pace, and it includes and it varies the gameplay, which is good. But it also is jarring because, God damn it, we're soldiers, not babysitters. Mm, Conte de Fee. The Boys in the Back Room by Marlene Dietrich. Danke schön, darling, danke schön. Thank you for all wow. the joy. The original pain. release of this game is 08. Damn. Heh. Doodle. Or is it Noodle? Maybe Woodle. Yes, dramatic music aside, we get it. On behalf of everyone at Sledgehammer Games, we made this game. It is good. This game is dedicated to the men and women who served the sacrifice and service of their countries during World War II. As many men and women died during this very bloody conflict in human history. Where some of the most important mm -hmm. world like the shaping Russian events have happened. given a tank. I still think that we should have learned how to throw hand grenades using potatoes. You didn't get any mementos at all throughout the playthrough, did you? I mean, I maybe got one. They're just, they're just, if you... I don't think so. If you deign to explore, like, the little office spaces... I mean, there are many where the mission where we woke up, it was... We were in the camp or something, people were making coffee, we had to pass out sandwiches. Yeah, those are where the mementos are headed. These are the mementos. You can find each of these items in the game, and I'm gonna go through each and every one of them. A gas mask. A something. A watch. A gas tank. A, a radio a radio signal, multiple pictures. A pants belt. Another card. Perfume bottle. A big card. A medal. <laughs> See, you can a get file. all of these black squares and more. A pen. This ink style pen. A pistol. A water satchel. A box. Another piece of paper. <laughs> a pipe. A book. See? They let you have a good uh, look at these objects before you can find them in all their distinction throughout the campaign. Another box. The no, Iron seriously, Eagle. You got no momentous throughout the entire run. A canteen. Another piece of paper. <laughs> a hand grenade. <laughs> and of course, a thermos. All right. Thermoses are awesome. That's a wrap, everybody. We got World War II in its entirety for the campaign. No, we don't want to do a new game. No. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, uh, tune, in to, uh, tune in next time for a totally different experience. Be safe, everybody. Tough. Thank you, guys.